ideas meet investments. That's simply how best to sum up this gathering of small and medium entrepreneurs and potential investors. The goal is to expand access to financing opportunities for African entrepreneurs through the banks. In other words, entrepreneurs are given the opportunity to sell their business ideas to a panel of bankers with a view to accessing loans to start up or expand their businesses. We have it's an initiative of Nigeria's Bank of Industry in collaboration with Western Union and the United States Agency for International Development, USAID. Called SME Life Banking, it is basically designed to help SMEs grow, create jobs, and help boost the economy. In the first edition held in 2012, out of the 70 entrepreneurs that participated, only seven succeeded in getting funding for their businesses from the banks. This year, 150 participants are competing for investment funds from 12 banks. You guys are here because you can make a change. Last year, we made presentations to the banks. This year, we're going to go beyond making the presentations. The challenge we're going to now is to tell these SMEs the missing link that they have. What is, why can you not fund it the way it is? And what do they need to do for them to have access to these funds? Uh, we've uh, done training throughout the entire year to improve the capacity of uh, SMEs. Uh, Bank of Industry has done that here. We have done it on the other side of the Atlantic in the U.S. so that we hope that the SMEs that have come today, we've given them thresholds that they have to meet in order to participate. It is an invited event. Uh, you've had to show what your financials were. You had to show what your capacity is. Uh, so we've helped train them up to that point. And really, it's up to them and the banks to have that discussion, because in the end, the banks have to believe in what you're doing. That belief can only come through aggressive and convincing marketing, which the entrepreneurs must engage in before a panel of bankers. Three panels were set up in three different rooms where entrepreneurs are given 15 minutes each to address the panel and convince the bankers why they are deserving of loans. After each presentation, a series of cross-examination follows from the panel members. The whole arrangement is more like the famous investment program Dragon's Den, says Babajide Baye, who has just finished making his presentation. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You know, I, I did my best in terms of trying to convince them, considering the short period of time. But we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed and look forward to a positive feedback. Babajide's optimism is also shared by this woman, who wants a loan to expand her agro-product export business, and this young man who is seeking funding to expand his business on capacity building. I am optimistic uh, from the feedback I got from in there. Uh, they were happy at the end of the day with the presentation. They said they would go, get back to me. So I'm, I'm expecting someone to call me very soon. Uh, you believe they'll give you the funds you're asking for? 100%. But not every entrepreneur who emerged from the panel session sounded completely optimistic, like this one. I have a balanced view. If, if it works, fine. You know, and uh, I, I don't say I won't kill myself by anything. I'm indifferent anyway because I, um, I believe in my passion so strongly. So whatever that happens, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm indifferent. But the event was not just about investment funding. The organizers brought in experts to provide training for entrepreneurs who are either not ready to approach the panels or just starting out in business. This might be a small step towards solving Africa's economic challenge. It is no doubt a very important one, and if sustained, it could just be the magic wand the continent needs to address its ever-growing unemployment market and empower its people economically. Deji Barimasi, TV360, Lagos.